Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have another episode in our Spoiler Spotlight series in which I talk about, well, spoilers and tell you what my thoughts are on them. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Lavinia Foil to Conspiracy. For one colorless and two hybrid Azorius, it's a legendary creature human detective 2-3 with Vigil whenever you cast your second spell each turn investigate and tap and two colorless activate only during an opponent's turn so this is really interesting for a couple of reasons and I think it offers a lot of value for a three drop particularly since it's a nice build around as your commander for starters the body is very nice a two three vigilance can be really annoying to deal with early game and can save you a lot of chip damage when people are swinging in with small creatures early on the fact that you can get in on a fence and still protect your life total is really solid and of course she can provide a bunch of value if your deck is optimized around small spells. So as long as you can cast two spells per turn, this is going to give you a clue token which you can then use her to crack as I think is the idea, at which point this is a little bit like a Phyrexian Arena that isn't going to cost you life, which is pretty good. But of course you can get so much better than that in lots of different ways and there's so many other things that it does as well. The mana is actually not restricted in any way other than having to activate it during your opponent's turn, so it can work with a bunch of different effects and actually helps you keep interaction up as well, which is really solid. You can use it to pay for a counter spell, use it to pay for some big effect, or use it to cast something like Cyclonic Rift early, which with Lavinia out, you can get on turn five, which of course is incredibly disgusting. But not only that, it's also a very self-fueling ability because once you get the ball rolling and start casting two spells per turn, you get to draw extra cards with Lavinia, which then fuels your hand and allows you to have more chances to get to play two spells per turn again. But where it gets really nuts is if you find any way to untap her during your opponent's turn. One of the best ways to do that is with Sting the Glinting Dagger because you can tap it pre-combat phase during your opponent's turn to sack a clue token maybe then it's going to untap again during the combat giving you an extra two mana which you can then use to crack another clue token or for some activated ability or just to leave up for interaction and then you can do this on every player's turn. If you have a bunch of clue tokens already which you probably should if she's helming your commander deck then you're almost always going to have use for that mana and this is just going to draw you an absolute ton of cards. It seems very strong as an early drop that provides lasting value value and can actually ramp out your stuff very quickly as long as it's at instant speed. One way to get around that of course is to run cards such as Leyland of Anticipation, Vidalcan Orrery or Tidal Barracuda to make sure that you can play stuff during your opponent's turn and get full use out of that mana. And once you have one of those cards in play you can actually try to combo off with this which is I think the reason why you're only allowed initially to use it during your opponent's turn. If you have something like Intruder Alarm in play you can tap this, play some creatures, draw some cards, untap Lavinia and then kind of go nuts or during your opponent's turn which is going to be quite annoying for them to deal with if you actually get to assemble that kind of engine. In any case she seems like a really unique Azorius commander that does a lot of stuff for very cheap so I'm sure we're going to be seeing her although her popularity might be limited a little bit by how rare this set is. So there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below I read all comments and respond to all of them too and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe it really helps the channel and until next time take care